Assalamualaikum and very good morning to my lecturer, Dr. Ami Suhana and my beloved friends. My name is Muhammad Hazib bin Sharani from Unikal Business School and currently in semester 2 doing my degree in marketing and I'm from class M10. Today, I'm going to present to you guys about my assignments Retail Anthropology in Bookstores. So, before I start, I need my slides to help me explain more about it. I hope you guys can enjoy and learn about it too. Enjoy! So, first of all, this is my slides. I have decided that the bookstore industry is the one that most interests me. Companies in the field mainly sell books, journals, and periodicals such as track books, textbooks, magazines, paperback, and religious books. Companies in this industry sell books from physical retail store locations and they may also sell via websites. The three stores that interest me the most are Pustaka Rakyat, Popular Bookstore, and Kinokunia. For Pustaka Rakyat Malaysia, founded in 1996 and wholly owned by Malaysians, is a major stationery, educational and revision book supplier. It also offers rubber stamping, printing, name tag, name cards and many more. Pustaka Rakyat is actively increasing and developing into new markets in order to offer quality services to Malaysians. Next, popular book company was established in January 1984 and is entirely managed by Malaysians. They sell a lot of books such as fantasy, non-fiction and general interest books in English, Chinese, Malay as well as school textbooks and revision books. The core business is book distribution, publishing and e-learning. Popular is constantly reinventing itself in order to become a customer-centric and diverse retailer for the new millennium. For Kinokuniya, a well-known international bookshop chain from Japan with over 300,000 titles in English, Japanese, Malaysian, Chinese and many more. The bookstore is committed to being a sanctuary for books, focused on giving their customers the best books publishing has to offer. The company obligation to consumer remain unchanged and the level of service to customer is expected to be improved at no additional cost. Lastly, the reason I choose bookstore is that there have been reports of big bookshops shutting down in Malaysia because of the pandemic. This effort will help more people to gain knowledge about bookstore around us. As a Malaysian, we need to support our bookstores industry. Next, for the customer traffic flow, for the first company, Pustaka Rakyat Setapak, walk through the store in a grid pattern, a standardized format that makes the most of the available display space. The grid pattern makes use of the traffic area's length and width to create direct eyes and encourage self-service shopping. Pustaka Rakyat attract their customer with a promotion item. Usually, customers follow similar paths because limited of space and the traffic flow is not efficient because Pustaka Rakyat have a ton of product to be displayed. Next, popular at Once Walk Mall have a free flow pattern, a cozy unbalanced floor plan created in casual style by a selection of fixtures. Although, the free flow interface often sacrifices selling space to create atmosphere, it does encourage browsing and casual transaction. Since there is so much open space, their customers follow various paths. Popular customers to attract to clearance books at the center of the store. Traffic flow are efficient but limited of book choices such as best-selling books are available and there are even there are so few of them. Lastly, Kinokunya KSTC, customers walk around the shop in a combination pattern. The combination pattern mix grid and free flow styles to create an environment suitable for the goods and shopping actions involved. Customers in their shop take different paths and the experience is enjoyable. 
The main attraction of the store is the view facing the KLCC park and there are many reading books in the store. The best thing that the customer will almost always find the books they need. To complete the experience is the Coffee Club Express on the mezzanine floor by providing a place for customers to relax with aromatic coffee while taking in the atmosphere of the shop. Next, for the crowdedness in the store, for the first store, Pustaka Riot Stapa, the shop is normally a little busy at 5 pm on Sundays. The typical customer spends about 20 minutes in the shop. Ustaka Riot purposefully makes their eyes narrow and packed in order to establish a sense of economy order, which helps shoppers to walk around in the shop in an ordered pattern. Next, for the popular Wong's Walk Mall, the store is usually a bit of crowded at 4 pm on Saturday. People typically spend up to 30 minutes to find the books they need. The store eyes are much more lesser than normal bookstore. This intention to encourage people to take their time browsing through the store. This will help customer walk freely but it will consume more time at the store. For Kunikunya, as I learned on my visit to the bookstore, Kunya Kunya KLCC, the store is usually crowded at 2 pm on Saturdays. People spend more time at Kunikunya than other bookstores. Customer usually spend up to 1.5 hours looking for and reading specific types of books. Kinukunya aisles are much larger and more structured compared to others too. This allows customers to wander through the stock without any problems. So next, accessibility for disability. As we all know, reading is now everyone's favorite activity, even people with disabilities. The majority of bookstores will do everything possible to make their store accessible to people with disabilities. Kinokunya have elevator lifts to help people with disability to enjoy shopping and reading at their store. Plus, if there is an emergency, consumers can listen to audio announcement from Kinokunya. This will build a good relationship between customers and retailers. Bookstores like Pustaka Riot have automatic double sliding doors and provide ramps to help people in wheelchairs easier to enter the store. Popular and Kunikunya bookstore have similarities to widening aisles out where merchandise offers service to consumers who are unable to walk down aisles at the entrance. Meanwhile, disabilities customer at Pustaka Riot needs the staff to help them access for the product. Based on my observation, most all retailers that work in the bookstore will assist people with handicap or disabilities to have a good experience at the store. All of the bookstore retailers offer to assist customers who are blind or who have limited visions by describing items and reading prices and labels. Popular and Kinokunya are more friendly in comparison with Pustaka Riot, both of the company provide the best facility to help their store is accessible to people with disabilities. Next, for the overall rating, according to my study, Pustaka Riot Stapak showed 6 over 10 in traffic flow because the store used combination grip pattern Grip pattern traffic flow will provide to encourage self service shopping, but Pustaka Riot Stapa displays many more product lines than they really do, making the store look cramped. For the crowdedness at Pustaka Riot, I rate 7 over 10 because the store internationally makes the eyes narrow and crowded to build a sense of economy order. Many consumers shop at Pustaka Riot Stapa for their low price product but this result in crowdedness at the cashier. Based on my observation, I rated Pustaka Riot Stapa 5 over 10 for accessibility. Pustaka Riot only provide double sliding door and ramps for the wheelchair. Their staff will assist the accessibility customer to help, to help them access the product. The overall score for Pustaka Riot Stapa based on my study is 18 over 30. 
good place to look for school book stationery. It is a good place to go if customers are looking for school books and stationery with reasonable prices. They have all of the books school required by the government as well as additional exercise and revision books. One of the reasons I read it lower than the others because it's hard to mingle around the shop for people with disabilities. Next, popular Wong Suwok Mall has scored 7 out of 10 in traffic flow due to the store's use of free flow pattern. While the free flow pattern provides a comfortable and relaxed environment, the free flow interface loses retail space in order to produce atmosphere. Although the traffic flow is effective, customers complain that populace limited of product since the store eyes are much smaller than in the regular bookstore, I give popular an 8 out of 10 for crowdedness. This will help customers walk freely, but it will consume more time at the store. Popular got a 6 out of 10 for accessibility. Popular only sells products with white eyes which are beneficial to consumers who use wheelchairs. Consumers who are unable to walk down the eyes at the entry are often served. Based on my research, the average score for, for popular one swap mall is 21 out of 30. Customer can find plenty of room in the shop to find their ideal books and it is all tidy and well, well organized. The main downside is the limited types of books. Next, for the Kinokinia, customer at Kinokinia KSCC walk around the store in a combination pattern, earning the store an 8 out of 10 for traffic flow. Customer in their shop take a number of directions, allowing it an enjoyable experience. Customer will also take a break from shopping at the cafe. Besides that, I rated Kinokinia KSCC 9 out of 10 for crowdedness. In contrast to the other two, Kinokinia aisles are much wider and more structured. This allows customer easily to walk around the shop and they also can read the books and relax at the store. Based on my results, Kinokunya KLCC earned an 8 out of 10 for usability. Kinokunya has an elevator lift to make it easy for people with disability to shop and read at their shop. Employees at Kinokunya will support customers who are handicapped or disabled with providing a good experience in the store. As a result, Customer and retailers will develop a positive relationship. Lastly, the average score for Kinu Kinu KLCC is 25 out of 30. The ambience at Kinu Kinu makes customers wander around for hours. The customer service will do their best to look the book that customers are looking for. Customers can predict that the books may not be the cheapest. But the thing is that customers will almost always find the books they need. The store is very big and clean. That's what customers should expect from premium bookstores. So, for the recommendation for e-commerce, in recent years, online bookstores seem to be very popular and many people are now shopping books online. Based on the stores I visit, all of them already using in, using e-commerce in order to help consumers and promote their products. The benefits it has over a conventional bookstore in one of the biggest reasons for its popularity. When customers buy online, customers will save a lot of time that they would have spent if they went to a traditional bookstore. It also can benefit the traditional store from crowding and efficient and customer traffic flow. This is a huge plus for people with disability as they can as they can buy online without having to stand down aisles and still have their favorite books. Besides that, discount coupons are available at these online bookstores, enabling consumers to save money on their orders. Online book shopping is also cost-effective due to the low delivery prices. Technology has advanced significantly over time to provide shoppers with superior online shopping experience. Eventually, people have spe speculated that online bookstore will replace traditional bookstore due to the exponential rise of products and brands. Before I end my video, I'm gonna say thank you to you guys for your support. 
and I'm really appreciate it. And not to forget, thank you to my lecturer, Dr. Ami Sohana, for the guidance how to answer it. If you guys have any questions, please contact me through the comment section below or hit me up via Instagram. Thank you and Assalamualaikum.